Welcome back to Mirror and Thread. I am so excited to announce that we are bringing back the Look Expensive on a Budget series. So lots of great things I've got coming down the pipeline for you today. Um, this is an H&M haul, so really fall clothes, but I actually, I didn't even intend for these to be kind of dressier, almost business casual. I probably could have done business casual with this haul, but it kind of worked out that way because I guess that's what I have my eye on. So these are all pieces that you could break apart and wear more casually as well. So hopefully a little something for everyone. And also if you missed the news, we just found out that we are having a baby girl and I am thrilled. I cannot wait to dress her and just have so much fun. All the girl dates in our future so we are so 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 excited so everything is linked in the description of the video right below so if you're on your phone it is that small triangle to the right side of the video click that it will bring a drop down menu and i will link all of the h&m clothes as well as all of the styling items there too let's go ahead and get started Okay, starting off with one of my favorite outfits of the bunch. I love how comfortable this is, but it still looks really chic and can be very dressy and dressed up even for workwear if you wanted it to. So this is a really fun little shorter wrap sweater. So this one works best, in my opinion, with high-waisted things. So it worked really well with this knit skirt that I can pull up quite a bit. If you have high-waisted jeans or like high-waisted pants that you wear for work, I think this would be really cute with that. Um, if you don't wear high-waisted things, this might show your stomach, just an FYI there. But it's a little wrap all the way around. And this one comes in, I think, a camel brown color and a black as well. This is non-maternity and as the skirt is not either. So I do have a few maternity items that I included. So that's kind of how I'm like structuring my wardrobe right now. I'm probably like 70 to 80% my normal clothes and about 20 to 30% maternity. So I will just go over those items um, as I go and let you know which ones are maternity. But these are both non-maternity. Have this small and this one. And then I love this skirt. It is so stretchy and comfortable and it looks so expensive i feel like and even the silhouette of this i think is really flattering it's it is a like stretchy knit material but it's not a clingy material so i like that it still had some structure to it and this also has a matching sweater that goes with it that almost makes it look more like a dress like a one piece so i will link that one for you too i personally prefer them as separates but um i will link that if you want more of like the full look and I have the small in this one too, and I still have room to grow with the bump. So this is one of the maternity pieces, but I kind of like the one in the Amazon video. I see no reason why you couldn't wear this um, at, if you're not pregnant right now. It doesn't look super maternity. It doesn't have like ruching on the sides or anything like that, like some maternity things have sometimes. It's just really nice because it has the elastic right under the chest. So it really accommodates well for a growing bump. And this one's really flowy, it's easy. I love the colors of this. This is the only item I think in this entire haul that isn't brown, black, or tan. <laughs> so I was loving the colors of this. They still give me a fall vibe, but um, it's just something a little bit brighter. So since this one is maternity, I got my normal size small in this and it fit like a glove. This is my other favorite outfit of the bunch, maybe my favorite, um, I don't know, it's a mix a toss up between this one and the houndstooth skirt. But first of all, I love these basic crew neck sweaters from H&M. I feel like I buy one of these every single year and just wear it so much. And they come in tons of different color options. This one is like a camel kind of tan brown color but these are great just with jeans they work for work wear because they're not like a low v-neck or anything like that and they are a perfect like mid weight where you can wear it inside and not be too hot in the fall um but it also has some warmth to it and they are really soft fabric too so you don't need a cami or anything like that it's nice and soft this one comes down it's not a tunic but it does come down a little bit longer so I had it front tucked in with a skirt, but um, they're just a great basic sweater and I have my normal size small in this one. And then honestly, when I was looking at this skirt online, I totally thought it was elastic waist, which would have been perfect for the bump. It is not, it is a zipper, so the waist is pretty tight. So I sized up, or no, I got my normal size four and I really needed to size up for the bump. 
If you don't have a baby bump right now, get your true size in this, it'll be totally fine. And you can pull it up pretty high too, but it's nice and flowy at the bottom, which I thought was cute with the bump and kind of accommodated that well. I love skirts like this in the fall. I feel like there's so much that you can do with them. You can do them now if it's still really hot where you are with like a tank top or a bodysuit or something and some sandals and then you can dress them up with some booties or some pumps, something like that um, for workwear or on into the fall. So I thought it was a really pretty design and style. And then I am super thankful that wide belts are back. So like years and years ago, I don't remember even what year that was, but I was obsessed with wide belts um, like back in high school and I used to wear them over my shirts all the time. I don't know if you guys remember that. Kind of like Laguna Beach days. Um, and then like skinny belts were the thing for the longest time and these are kind of making a comeback this year. So I was excited about that. Um, I still prefer to wear them with like dresses and skirts versus trying to fit this into a pair of jeans. I think would be a little bit tricky right now, but I got the small in this and I do not know why I got the small in this. I definitely needed the medium to accommodate for my growing belly, but um, otherwise you'll probably be okay. If you're between sizes though, I would probably still size up in this one. There's not a ton of wiggle room and it's definitely not like a stretchy belt. It's pretty stiff. So size up if between sizes, otherwise, <laughs> otherwise you should be good in this one. Tucker's down here by my feet and he's like, kicking all these clothes around <laughs> that I keep dropping. This is my favorite dress of this haul. I just, I saw this online and I was like, there is nothing that screams fall more to me than this one. I love a good plaid in the fall and brown and black together always make my heart sing a little bit clearly from the outfit that I'm wearing. But this one is non-maternity, so because of that, I did size up to the medium. Get your true size. Um, if you're not pregnant, you'll be totally fine in that. It is not a stretchy material. It's kind of a more structured fabric. But I think the sleeves on this are so fabulous. I'm all about a statement sleeve. I feel like this is really well done where it still looks really chic and expensive. But um, it is not. It is a really good price. So link for this one is down in the description. Then I linked a couple other similar plaid dresses too. I am all about a good blazer in the fall. I wear these so much and I don't even work business casual anymore where I need to wear business casual, but I definitely used to wear them for work wear. And now I just love wearing them with dresses and things like this for church or something that I wanna be a little bit more dressed up. I also love doing them just with a cami and jeans or graphic tee and jeans. I think it's really cute in the fall. So this one, I cannot believe the quality of this blazer for the price. It is so thick and nice and good quality fabric. I'm telling you, it is just, you're gonna be amazed um, when you touch it for the price, I feel like. But it has the little buttons down the side on the sleeves. It is a single button in the front and I got my normal size small in this one. And then I paired it with just this little ribbed maternity dress. If you are pregnant right now, this is not one that I probably would buy if you're not pregnant because this it does have the ruching on the sides and it definitely is made for a bump but if you are this is going to be one of those pieces that i feel like i will wear all the time um multi-seasonally especially on into fall and winter you can dress them up you can wear them with sneakers or sandals and um, there's just so many things that you can do with this and it's a really good quality it's one that you're going to be able to grow with and um it's ribbed so it's thicker and stretchy, comfy, just all around a good find. And I have my normal size small on this one. Last up is this little dress. This is listed as the maternity, in the maternity section because it is a nursing dress, but it totally works as a non-maternity dress. And I, this is like maybe the only thing I included that's kind of casual in this haul, although you could break up a lot of these items and make them casual or more casual, but um, I love a good sweatshirt dress for fall, I think it's super, super comfortable. And this one is nice for nursing because this part will come up and then it has these little like openings here at the side. So super easy for nursing if there's any nursing mamas out there. And it also works with the bump because it is a stretchy material. Um, I've got some wiggle room there and since it's got this kind of empire waist, I thought it was pretty cute with the bump too. So I got my normal size small on this one. All right, so that's it for our H&M haul and the return of Look Expensive on a Budget. I hope you guys love this series as much as I do. I always have fun 
finding pieces that I feel like are really chic and look really nice and are good quality, but for a great price. So let me know in the comments if you love this series. We've got some more fun things coming down the pipeline with this for you in the later weeks. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good rest of your day.